Hey guys, welcome back to Crypto Pride. And today I'm going to be talking about something that's very, very serious, and that is security, and that is protecting your assets, uh, more specifically, protecting your safe food. And today I'm going to show you how to put your safe food onto a hardware wallet. Uh, today I'm using a hardware wallet that is called a Ledger. Uh, Ledger is one of the premier hardware wallets, it's the one that uh, most people are using. Uh, the reason I want to go with two, the reason I want to go over um, security days because I'm seeing a lot of people still getting scammed. A lot of people have questions in discourse on how to uh, use a ledger, and I just thought it'd be perfect uh, to uh, show you guys how to use a ledger and how to protect your assets. Now, every time I make a transaction on uh, on any website, any crypto website, uh, I have to approve my transaction with a ledger, and this is a ledger right here. Um, I have to hit, hit, click these two buttons to approve every transaction that I make. Uh, you have to have at least a four digit pin to use this up to eight digit pin. If you don't have this, you cannot use it. You cannot make a transaction on your MetaMask. So right now I'm on Safe Foods uh, dashboard. I'm just going to show you an example. So I'm going to go over here to swap and I'm just going to punch in zero one for example. Hit swap. And then my MetaMask screen is going to pop up. Then I'm just going to scroll down. It's going to say plug in your ledger device and select the Ethereum app, enable smart contract data, or blind sign it on your ledger device. Hit confirm. Now, once it hits confirm, my ledger is going to pop up with this. It's going to say review transaction. I will have to review transaction. And then I have to hit accept and send a transaction by hitting these double points right here. Then once I hit that, it's going to go through the process and then I'll have to approve it, but I'm not going to approve it. Just going to show you an example and then the transaction will go through. Now you may ask yourself, why don't, you know, people have ledgers, people have, don't, may not have a ledger because they don't think they need one um, or they don't want to buy one. A ledger costs about, this is a nano, uh, ledger has a nano S plus and it costs about $79 on ledger.com. And by the way, only go to ledger.com when you're trying to buy a ledger. Don't go to Amazon, uh, don't go to eBay, because anybody can do anything with those packages and just take the cellophane off and repackage it up, take the seed phrase out and send it, send it, send it to you. So only go to ledger.com to buy your ledger. And like I said, they're very cheap. They're only 79 bucks and it's protecting your investment, guys. So be safe, better be safe than sorry. Because like I said, hackers can do all types of tricks to get to your, to your wallet. But if you have a ledger, a hacker will actually have to have to come to your house hit these double two buttons to take your safe food away. And that's highly unlikely. So like I said, go to ledger.com, get your ledger. And then once you get your ledger, uh, go to uh, ledger live. And you can go to ledger.com forward slash start. So let's go through that process for you. All right, so you got your ledger because we're coming in a box that looks like this. Uh, once you get your ledger, you open the box up. It's gonna tell you to come to ledger.com forward slash start. You're gonna come to this website right here. Then once you download the Ledger Live, and start now. So you click this download button. And by the way, you can have Windows, you can have a Mac, you can have Linux. All that is compatible with the uh, Ledger. So you download it, and you're gonna come to uh, a screen that looks like this. And it's gonna have your, the setup screen where you have to put, put, make up a code. You make a pen, a pen code. And once you make your pen code, your Ledger, you open your box up and come in a little card like this one say secret recovery sheet you open this up and it's gonna be a little sheet like this and you're gonna write down your C phrase words it's gonna be about 12 to 4, 24 words that you're gonna need and you're gonna write them down this little paper right here do not give this paper to anybody do not leave it laying around on your desk or on your computer screen do not put it in your notes on your cell phone do not take a picture of it with your cell phone uh, do not store it on your computer nowhere write it on this little recovery sheet and put it in a safe place like a safe and don't leave it around let the dog eat it or nothing just put it in your safe and don't tell anybody where it's at but you and maybe your significant other um, but it's gonna have you once you put your pen in place is where you're gonna start your uh, your seed phrase it's gonna give you like I said 12 or 24 word seed phrase where you have to punch that in as well and then you have to do it again just to to double verify. Then once you get your C phrase in and everything's working and you're ready to uh, start your uh, the process of downloading your safe food, 
you're going to come up here to accounts and once you get to your accounts uh, you're going to add uh, the Binance Smart Chain of course it's going to give you an option to add different uh, chains like Polygon or whatever you're just going to add, going to add, add account and like I said you can add choose your crypto asset you can add Bitcoin, Ethereum, Tether any type of chain you want to have Cardano, Dogecoin anything you can just click this add it in uh, for example I can do an example for you if I wanted to add Cardano I just hit this and hit continue this is going to actually connect my vice put my little punch my little pin number in okay now my pin number is in and then uh, let me go to since so checking at dependencies have to confirm it in your ledger okay uh, so confirm that and then it's going to download that uh, Cardano app to my ledger wallet hardware wallet app installation so this is an example of how you, if you can download any of these apps, any of these uh, coins that you want to have, any of these, uh, this is the process that you have to go through. Um, but the main ones you're going to need, of course, you need Binance and you're going to need Ethereum. Um, and now I have Cardano on my ledger device. But you can do this for any process that you have. Like I said, the main ones you're going to need is, is, a, is a Bitcoin. Is that of course I keep that one ethereum is a must and Binance is a must uh, just let me uh, confirm that in my thing and you can just add an account okay account added successfully and done so now I have Cardano on here as well as you can see right here and that's the same way you can go through all these like I said it's whatever you want to add you can add tons of tons of uh, tons of things but you want to have Seifu added to yours, so let me show you how to do Seifu. So all you're going to do is punch in Seifu, because Seifu is actually already in one of the tokens that are already downloaded to the, to the ledger. And we're going to use Seifu for the Binance Smart Chain. I already have mine in here, but I'm just going to show you. Just hit Binance Smart Chain, and you can just add it that way. And you click Receive, and this way you can just transfer, hit Continue, and this way you can just can transfer any safety that you have in your wallet to your ledger account okay now once you have your you know your Binance Smart Chain your Polygon or Ethereum or whatever coins you you have that you want to download already different apps once you get all that stuff completed you're gonna come over to your uh, MetaMask wallet then on your MetaMask wallet is gonna be something that says you click on the little circle right here it's gonna say connect hardware wallet you connect the hardware wallet it's going to bring you to uh, MetaMask and then you're going to click on Ledger then once you click on Ledger it's going to have you create it's going to create a new uh, a new wallet for you so you go back over to your um, wallet it's going to have something that says Ledger like this Ledger then once you have your Ledger account you can uh, transfer you know between different uh, different accounts so Say you have your old account. Let's look at your old account. Let's see. Let's go to a different account. Uh, let's go to account. If you go to your old account, you want to transfer. You just go to your old account. Let's hit send, and you can transfer between accounts. And then you can just transfer it to your ledger account. Uh, whatever coin that you have, you want to transfer your safe from your old account to your new ledger account. That's the way you have to do it. Just transfer it to your ledger account. Then once everything's in your ledger account, you're good to go. Pretty simple. Uh, if you guys any, got any questions, please leave them in the comments below. I will answer all your questions for you. And one more quick thing, guys. Once you transfer everything from your old account to your new ledger account, just make sure you uh, put do not use on your old account just so you won't use it anymore. Because uh, you want to make sure you stay focused on your ledger account. Okay? Uh, any questions like I said leave them in the description below please like subscribe I need some subscribers and we're on my road to a thousand subscribers and I appreciate you guys and stay blessed thank you